welcome back, y'all. Last year, boys show episode numero ochenta y uno as usual. Mm-hmm. Boy Brandon Keith, aka the Range, brother Tuki Jones, Young Bala, whatever you want to call me. Man to my left, it's your boy Marge Man the Menace, and your girl Mouth Like a Dentist. How we rocking? Got your boy D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. You know what it is. Man, you know who it is. The CEO, the Prez, Rob the Guy, Rob Philosophies, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. Man, Patreon. Discord. Discord numbers going up every single week. Shout out to every every new patient that joins the group. Man, Malik Kaj Bright, all right, Dan 74, Luis, Mama Ross, Trey Ross, Jarius Curdy, Mistyo Girl, Quentin, mm-hmm. Jeremy, How Fast, What With Three, Quay Season, Carlos, Big Mike, One Dres, Quan Dale, Hakim, Olay, Jeremy Robinson, Side the Guy, Jaren Neal, C Lo, Memphis, and Spencer. Mm-hmm. Ugh, clap it up for me. Clap it up. Clap it up for me, man. Nice I need some respect put on my name, man. No practice either. I've been stumbling these past few times. You gotta do Brother got it together. Nigga. Get that golf clap. Got it together. You gotta do auctions. Got it together, man. Got it together. Hey, shout out to all the new patrons. Hey, mm-hmm. three hour plus long podcast on it that's never gonna be on the tube. Never gonna be anywhere else. Mm-hmm. We got extra segments. And soon, some people that are actually tuning into the lives. We didn't have too many people in there, but people that actually want to tune into that. We were thinking about doing, making like actually like a Patreon tier. I brought it up before. But so y'all, $3. I know y'all got three dollars. I know most of y'all got, got jobs. Three dollars, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and join support the crew. And uh, yeah, but we got some stuff going on in there, man. It's real fun. So that you won't see on here, man. How's it going for y'all, man? You know we got the Christmas hats on. Um, y'all watching this on Friday, Christmas in a few days. Hope y'all got y'all gifts. I not, did not get to send no, one yet. I'm black as hell, I ain't get shit. Not one. Oh man, I literally gave y'all the finance friendly. What? Oh well, shit. Oh, I'm about well, buying it. I ain't buying shit. I'm going to buy them. But, shit, they might get that shit after Christmas. See, Damn. Even make okay, come like, on, man. Me too. Like that's, with, that's that's come on, man. That's no, they got Amazon nice. Prime two days. I'm going to get my thing. I already got some stuff I've been looking at. I ain't going to say it out on here. I don't want to, you know, put everything out there. But I got to you know, get it. I'll get it. Got you, you know what's crazy? I got the money. I just, I don't know. I've been moving through the motions, man. I got the orders. Oh, yeah, I got the money. It's just, you know, money not it. It's just, I don't be knowing what to get people, man. I as you as I got older, man, I know you can relate, DJ. You don't even like Christmas. Oh, I hate Christmas. Grinch ass nigga. Yeah, you yeah. Me and the I'm with you like too, best man. friends. Uh, I, I like soap me and then side with me. I like the season. Oh, it's just you know. It means it's the most wonderful time of the year, man. <laughs> I don't think so. Why it's not? Most. Cold as hell outside. Mm-hmm. That depends on where you at. Snow on the ground. Yeah. Motherfuckers can't drive. Everybody's stressing out about, you know, buying gifts and losing money. Mm-hmm. I hate to see money lost. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we but idolize a trespasser. It's all. It's all about. It's all about, about the cheer, man. The yeah, for real. To see your family and what those gifts will incite in their minds, man. Yeah, and just being with the family, just being mm-hmm. appreciative of things. And let's say Thanksgiving That's is the got, season of right. Thanksgiving, blah blah blah. But you know, this little kind of a little kind of double edged sword with that because there was also uh, yeah. the killing folks, Factual. Um, <laughs> murder, Factual. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, Christmas is supposed to be just pure, man. Go and appreciate your family, man. Whatever it is, eat some cookies. It's butt. Drink some milk. And not the good kind. Eggnog. I never had eggnog. That shit's ass. I, it sounds ridiculous to oh, me. Oh, eggnog. Yeah. I never had it, but never had it either. I mean, I think it's raw. You have raw eggs in there, right? Yep. Yeah. I have no desire to try that. I mean, I eat egg cookie whites. dough, so I ain't tripping. Egg whites is it? Mm. That's a myth, though. By the way, that cookie dough upsets your stomach. Y'all got weak ass stomachs. I mean, you can get what? sick from it is the thing. <laughs> Cap, you upset your Cap, stomach. Cap, you ain't get no damn salmonella from that. That's because you didn't get it. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Raw egg, there's raw egg. <laughs> right. Other people dough. have gotten salmonella from cookie dough, nigga. Man, I could probably eat chicken raw and not get salmonella, man. Yeah, because your hey. ass is Mr. Chicken. Black is right. Black is shit. a barbarian shit. <laughs> <laughs> barbarian. I would not try it. That's nasty as hell. But I don't eat no work. Uh, I wouldn't put it past them. Don't get that poison effect on, from Minecraft. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on, mate. But but no, but no, man. No, man. Hope y'all enjoying, you know, the holidays and things like that, everything that's coming up. Hope y'all getting y'all gifts and things like that. But we going to kick it right, man. It's just as usual, man. DJ. All right, man. You know, it's the end of the year. We did this last year. Um, top three albums of the year, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Did y'all think of y'all? I, I have mine, but mine was pretty Gee. simple. It's kind of, I'm kind of still stuck on my decision. Oh, niggas. Man, did Mr. Last Morales year. and the Big Savers come out this year or last no, year? No, man. It was last year, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't even be mad at him, though, because when I did with mine, I'm like, did that shit come out this year? So let's, okay, let's go with me DJ first, man. What you got, brother? All right, number three, Gift and Curses, Gunna. Okay. Okay. Number two, Conway the Machine. What was that shit called? 
It's the one where his face is on it. He dropped a lot of albums this year. I think he dropped three. But, oh, Won't He Do It? There it is. Won't He Do It? The album was amazing. Um, the album just as a whole was <clears throat> fantastic. And at number one, I got, I like some, if, if you work with me, you saw this coming. Tizo Touchdown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome oh, to the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. We put yeah. niggas on. Oh, that, to the club. that album was just... just singing. If you, tell you, I didn't ever put niggas on, man. You, you be thirsty. People uh, know me, no. I be singing that song. I be singing them songs all the time, too, man. Bro, like at my job, like I got one homie that listened to Tizo, and he be like, okay, you know about that? And I'm like, yeah, bro. Tizo, that album is just no skips. None. No skips. Man, he's, a, he's a great artist, man. Like, he really is. It's just, and so many different sounds on it. It's just, oh my God. It's crazy. Great. That man dabbled in almost every genre in that one album. Mm hmm. And it yes. sounded fantastic. Yes. And it flowed good. It's oh, just great album, great album. Yeah, I know. That's facts, man. You just spoiled my shit already. So, number one, I'm going for backwards, man. So, number one, that definitely that Tizo. Mm -hmm. That Tizo, he too groovy, man. He got so many different styles and, mm -hmm. and everything. He mixing in there, bro. He can hit you with the rock type yeah, stuff there. Right. But he can hit you with, like, some Marvin Gaye sound and yeah. stuff. You know, I don't know if much of the video we can play, though, because they won't copyright it, though. But, mm -hmm. anyway. But, yeah, man. He got, yeah, it sound like Marvin Gaye in one instance. Only song I wasn't the biggest fan of was like the last, the last intro. You like the biggest? You didn't like the original was better. No, the original, the original was better. Was that was better. better. That shit it was cold. cold. It, it wasn't cold. bad. That shit was that hard. Shit was cold. That was hard. I, I, I saw love though. And then like he had, he like changed it to like like almost EDM. Almost that's like, what it threw yeah. me off. That shit was clean. That shit was clean. It's all like it's like a Lego movie. Okay, I should say I should say that I I don't dislike it, but you know I'm not the biggest fan of the EDM like that. Yeah, they got some bops though. They got some boss, but the rest of that, my favorite song on there got to be that, uh. First time I'm going to, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That was, just a, that was just a cool way to talk about yeah. having sex, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah really That was talking about knocking it down. That was like a unique ass way to talk about it, bro. It's like, okay. You just a There's a lot. Of, I think my favorite song off that album was probably Too Easy. Oh, yeah. That's like my favorite. That's, that's your second my half. favorite. Yeah, yeah, like when it popped in, I was just like, are you here? Oh, hello. Dun, 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 Two. I'm like, what the Misery fuck? Misery loves company. That's just hard. That's just hard. Trying to make it easier yeah, for you to see. Oh, that was hard, bro. Trying to make it easier man. for you to believe. Oh, and you know who was supposed to perform in Chicago? Oh, I want to go. And me and my homie was at my job was talking about going, but he just he just backed out of it. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. But yeah, we need more artists like Tizo and, yes, and more in the forefront, definitely. man. But it's it's coming, though. He, he gonna, mm -hmm. he, he's already like, if you watch NBA games, they play the instrumentals. Like, there's a three of those songs all the time. Really? Yeah, they do. In between, like, the breaks and all that stuff. So okay. I mess with that, man. Heavy. Number two, I'm just going to go. It's going to be pretty obvious. Maybe not for me necessarily, but I'll go Utopia. I'll go Utopia mm -hmm. number two. Damn it, I put that on. When I, look, when I look at that, you know, I play that album so many damn times. Really? I know it was my most played song this year. Really? Oh yeah, that song just that's a bop right there. That's a bop right there. The number three, Mick Jenkins, man. I like I Mick Jenkins out. I know I like Mick The Patience. I love that album, man. I oh, think man. that was definitely one definitely one of the really best good. ones this year. I love that modern. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my most played albums this year too, man. For a fact. Honorable mention, I would go like <clears throat> I listen to For All the Dogs a lot, but I still don't love that album. But there are It grew on me. The, the the highs are so high, then you got a lot of skips on that thing, too, though. Facts. Actual. But overall, I think I like it, though. V's album was an honorable mention for me. I ain't listened to that. Album um, Ganger. Nice. What y'all got, man? Man, number three, I ain't gonna lie, y'all might bake me. But it's that Nicki Minaj album, that Pink okay. Friday. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie. Was, hey, that shit was hard. I was fucking with that album. That shit was hard. Man, that shit was okay. hard. Well, I ain't mad at it. Number two, it's probably Utopia. I would agree with you there, because I fuck with Utopia heavy. I still be bumping that. Fiend. 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 Probably, the, Fiend. probably my favorite song on the album. Him. I'm pretty ass, though. Man, number one, y'all don't even know who this nigga is, man. That nigga one up T. Oh, I have no idea. I, 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 I heard, heard that nigga. One up T. I heard that Hey, that nigga, nigga one up T. I've heard that's my favorite okay. album of the year. Okay. I don't know who that is. He did that freestyle. That was like real conscious, uh -huh. and it was hard. Yeah, that shit was hard. That hard. He, he, he a Detroit, he a Detroit rapper. Yeah, he kind of like he kind of like big and shit. Yeah, but he man. cold. He's called, cold called Upper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Mm. okay. I got a few songs by him. Yeah, okay, lose, uh, lose, lose. Just came out a couple days. You need to hear that. I don't know if you heard that All one right. yet. Lose, lose. Oh, that shit hard. Okay, okay. One up to you. I say that. I can't see you, my boy. Okay, all right, man. Smile. What you got? My number one. 
Uh, but that Tizo, I ain't gonna lie. Hey. That Tizo, man. I, I love from us today. When, when it dropped, bro, from the day it dropped to now, bro, I've not stopped playing that's any fact. Of the songs. It's a very al- it's a very easy album to just, yeah. just, put, just on, put on just the whole album. Through. Yeah, Hell that's yeah. why I gotta give it, bro. It. Yeah, you don't uh, gotta take no tracks out. No, nope. I don't know too many albums like that. Like I said, nope. I, 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 I like I listen to For All the Dogs a lot, but I literally made a version of the album. I took it out of songs I don't like. It was like. It was damn near half the album. <laughs> it's like eight, nine, or ten songs, something like that. Yeah. Uh, my two, number two, I'm gonna have to say uh, Don Tyler's "Love Sick." Okay. When that dropped, Dude, that I ain't gonna lie. Sick. I listened to the entire album at least fifty times, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's that. I, I fucked with all the songs on that album, bro. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. And three, I'm gonna say that Gunna. Sure, I ain't gonna lie. Man. I played that for quite a while it's when it curses, dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that for quite a while. I respect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, <laughs> that, Bruh. Shit, that shit too hard. I'm sorry. I gotta get some off about Gunna though. In every Gunna okay. album, there's always one song that just like scratch blows, your brain, just like blows your brain, up man. like insanely. Yes. I was going back through like his discography, like the one from high school was Baby Birkin, mm-hmm. and then he had um, what I was I'm tripping like hot sauce. I had that yeah, from uh, Slime Season Two. Like every album that man has, there's one song it's that one just like song. goes insane mm-hmm. compared to all the other ones. But I call that the Thugger effect though, because Young Thug when he came out it was the same shit with him. Facts, mm-hmm. the Thugger effect. And you know I'm, I ain't gonna lie, you know all these. I saw a little thing the other day. Little baby was talking shit about him. Oh at yeah, a concert. Yo, his music better. Yeah, Gunners. Yes, I yes. agree. At this point, at least I can say uh, Gunners' songs all sound different. In nah, some, in some, in some bro. way, no, you know, in some way, he tried to switch it up a tad bit. Uh, the baby, all his shit the same. It's just different words. No, little baby just shit is his ass. I mean, he sound like a oh, baby. Shit, not ass. Man, little baby shit is his ass. He's be having a. He's just having he be a talking. Flow. Yeah, he be talking. His shit recently shit. has been it's ass. Just, his recent shit has been ass. I ain't saying it's like his old Scarpy's ass. I mean, his last album was not bad. My turn. Nah, that nigga just hate her, man. That nigga just hate her, man. It wasn't bad. Like, I don't really listen to it. It's not really my type of stuff, but I don't listen to a bunch of Gunner either. But yeah. I know honestly, I'm a big fan of I take Gunner over pretty much all the YSL dudes right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Oh, turn off this and this and this and that. Turn off the rat. I'm like, well, you need the rat, honestly, at this point. <laughs> I thought you need the rat at this point. I mean, I'm pretty sure Gunner's was the one that got Lil Baby into rapping for real. I think he even done wrote some of his stuff. I don't know if that's necessarily that part is 100% true, but I know he was helping him out with his rap and stuff like that to start off. So shoot, man. Yeah, man. We won't spend too much time on that. What's y'all favorite albums of this year? I don't know. Put us on, man. Because Robert's put me on to that One Up T. Mm. That's his name, right? Yeah, yeah. Man. He's yeah. Nice. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check it nice. out. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, listen to that good karma. <sighs> Speaking of music. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of music, man. Mr. West. We got an album coming. I don't know. Sometime <laughs> this decade, maybe. I don't know. And uh, he went on a huge rant. He did some sort of album pre-album <laughs> release party type of thing. And uh, he was just going crazy, <laughs> talking about, oh, fuck this guy and fuck this guy. And Mark Rubin, I'll slap that nigga if I see him, blah, 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 you know, whatever it might be. Calling out Drake, Travis Scott for not helping him in his knees. But then he went back to the whole, the anti-Semitism thing. And uh, he, he made a comment that really just kind of blew the hell out of me a little bit. I wouldn't say he blew the hell out of me, but I was like, wow. <laughs> You're taking it back. He, uh... <laughs> He went as far, because you know what happened with Kanye West. Kanye mm-hmm. West, people are getting on him. And I would say almost rightfully so, saying that he liked Mr. Adolph and mm-hmm. whatever this might be, this and that. And it was just him versus the Jews and whatever the case may be. And um, <clears throat> so he came on and he said, listen, the Zionists, they're coming, they came after people. They went out for, he said, he said just like this, y'all, this is what really got me. He said. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay. Just like that. And I was just like, why? Why? Because <laughs> I guess they said they, they chastised Jesus and then they chastised Hitler and now they chastised Kanye West. He's 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 comparing like... <laughs> no, but like my, my the reason I asked why is because like... I guess the Zionists. If, if it would be anybody else, I would understand the why. He didn't have to put Jesus' name in it. He, like, sure he did. didn't have to put Jesus' I agree, name in it. but this is also Yeezy we talk about. Mm. Yes. The man got a whole album named Yeezus. Yes. But <laughs> Hitler. 
Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, this motherfucker well, did it like a few weeks ago. No, he yeah. did not. I mean, all I, I think Kanye is just trying to say that they hate him for his power of influence. I don't think he's trying to push uh, it. That's what he's far. trying to say, but like he has a very terrible way of saying it. Because we've said that before, though. Is just yes, I know. Because he knows how to grab motherfuckers' yeah. attention. That's yeah. kind yeah. of Yes, that's why like when you were talking at... about Hitler a little while ago. Literally. Ridiculous. Okay, but okay, y'all got to put more context in that. He wasn't just talking about him like, like y'all compared to Kanye, nigga. He just no, talked about but he his had words one were, yeah. No, he said Hitler lived a great life. No, he said he lived a relatively, relatively normal, great, li- relatively normal, normal life, life. But he didn't mean testicle. normal. But we asked him. I'm aware, but. But he meant normal as in like. I'm aware, but not I, like I was there. I'm just saying, at first glance, well, the way you, like, you present it, motherfucker. Damn, at, you just throw my gl- dog under the bus. I'm, you didn't mean yeah, because his presentation was off. Right, like, it was. At, <laughs> at first glance, you're like, what the hell? <laughs> the but then he's like explaining something. Like, oh, okay. But Kanye but like, West, the, he, his explanation was not the best at all. When is that a new thing for Kanye? <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it's still appalling. <laughs> Nonetheless, he he always finds a way to just top some shit he said before. <laughs> oh, when he said slavery was a choice, he said 400 years. That sounds like a choice. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I think, I think I see what he's what he's trying to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see what he was trying <laughs> yeah, like, to say. And that, but that's, that's the point I'm like, ah, that's the brother, point about nah. it though. Like we're at the state now where like we're giving Kanye like a pass because we're trying to like when he says shit, we like, what could he mean by that? Like let's think about it before we just kill his and ass. And you know what? It always takes at least. Three to four months before motherfuckers really that start to analyze what he that actually That is factual. Because, like, most of the shit he says, people do eventually come around to. Yes or no? Uh, yes. that's facts. What is uh, You did. Hey. Most people, I want to say most people, let's say, like, it's a, it's a, a good group amount. Of, it's a good amount. Yeah, you can say it's a group of people, but I'm not going to say any majority. No, a lot, just, a lot of people start I, to, I, they might not agree, but they start to understand what he's trying to convey. Yeah, they don't take it so as blunt as from how he said it, mm-hmm. which... Like I said, it's not good for Kanye. You could just get better at saying your shit. But, um, you know, so the reality not the best is the public speaker at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. And people are like, oh, him for president. I'm like, oh. No, that's wild. Man, that's terrible. Yeah, Kanye, just he just <laughs> induces this sh- shock effect on everyone. Factual. And it takes a while for people to recuperate. Fact. It's like an earthquake. <laughs> Shake the world for a few, while, yeah. few hours. But the way this... Who's going to pick it back up? <laughs> The way this man could just go from making a point, where I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I can see, I can see what you mean right there. Then just goes completely left, is just crazy as hell. That's a skill too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's a skill I for would, sure. Yeah, it definitely. <laughs> yeah, skill. That's a skill. Okay, that, not everybody can do that. Like, be on the rails and they just go off out of nowhere. Like yeah, I got, that. I got that <laughs> shit cooked for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. But he go back all. I'm like, this is crazy as hell. Yeah. I mean, we used to be saying some crazy stuff too, but like, mm-hmm. I, I think Kanye, I think he just in the room with his own. I ain't quite heard. Definitely. I ain't that quite nigga heard was, the way he do that. That nigga was cool. Like, he was with his kids though. We ain't heard shit about him while he was with his kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they say the kids like being with him. They do. They do. Said that he said uh, they say he was making them kids eat ramen noodles. Oh yeah, I like that man. I like that. You know, right? Like a life of a mundane. You know, not you not eating. You know, lobster tails. Yeah, always mm-hmm. chefs mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Eating bougie all the time. Mm-hmm. That's good, you know mm. what I'm saying? Respect to Kanye for that. You know, I I guess. Yeah, but like I say, I, <laughs> Kanye now is just like, when it comes to the album, I don't really <clears> give a damn. Of course, I'm going to listen to it. Oh, I'm excited, man. I could be surprised by it. I don't know, but I don't see. I'm I don't rocking even... with it a little bit. And mm-hmm. that little freestyle she did was kind of hard. It was. Miss Westy? Miss, Come on, that's your hard, man. West. I ain't going to lie. That's your hard. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Adonis. Better. You have 48 hours to respond. <laughs> <laughs> 48 like, hours been up. Donis is like, I don't even know if he's six years old. I don't do him like that. Anyways, man, we can move on, man. Mr. West, he he, he being Mr. West. Man, Samaj, what's this thing that you were talking about about the <sighs> U.S.? So y'all know, know oh, I see this. that the United States is just a, a place of characters, you know? There's all types of people around here. So, in the House and Senate, and there's been a... A whistleblower saying that he has been having sex with one of the senators in the meeting room and posted a little clip of (laughs) said uh, interaction in that meeting room and took it to the Internet. Now, some people are arguing if it's even real or not, but um, I think that's the fucking office. It looks like the office. I told y'all, man, no matter where you work. 
they gonna find a way to fuck. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Like, like, like y'all laughing, but this matter. is facts. It don't matter it don't where matter. you work. It don't matter. That's facts. We talk about the goddamn government officials. Rooms that are made for life changing, you know, decisions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers in that bitch getting plowed. Mm -hmm. Back shots and all. Mm -hmm. Okay. They'll find a way. They'll find a way. That's what I say. At this point, they might as well just like, you know, make like rooms or something in all establishments. But this is two contemporary <laughs> fuck rooms. Yeah. This is a crazy but that's a crazy butt push. At first, at first I was like, where he going with this? But I think I like that idea that he's coming up with. Because if people are gonna be doing only it during anyway. break time. Okay. Only during your break. You get your hour of lunch and go in there. Okay. You can have a little relations if you want. <laughs> because it's gonna happen regardless. Yeah. So who cleaning that shit up? You gotta, you gotta clean up after yourself, god damn it. Oh yeah, you hope. Oh, that shit not gonna get clean. Yeah, for real. Well, if you don't, <laughs> not you doing that shit. Come on, just anymore, you get Niggas be tired and shit. Motherfucker gotta go back outside. <laughs> They don't no. want to clean up after themselves. I can see that already being some hell. No. But well, maybe if you use it. Okay, keep going. I do think it should happen. But maybe like if you use it like in a way of like almost like PTO, you get a little time, you earn a little time. So okay, now you can get it on. But y'all, you be talking about just like you know warehouse sales. No, we talking like no, you talking office everywhere. official. Office. Okay, you niggas are crazy. Yeah. Why? Why? What? How's that crazy? I mean, the warehouse they, they gonna do it. They gonna do it anyways. They and gonorrhea what? and rashes and STDs. What the? Been around a little bit of AIDS, man. Let me oh. stop that. You knew that was coming when you said I that. I did, bro. but like, just like, why? Just like, oh my God. I thought we moved past this. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought it back up, dog. I said you can still prosper. Uh, either way, okay. the, the U.S. is, nigga, we are YouTube in 2006. There's always some crazy shit going on, dude. I'm telling you, man, put them goddamn rooms in there. Yeah, America is YouTube in 2006. There's always some crazy shit going on. Because, you know, on. If they have a room to do it in, that means less of it will happen outside of that room. You put your you put your goddamn papers on the desk, and you just see some blotches on your paper because you okay. got goddamn. All right, right. That's a, uh, that's yeah. the validity though. I agree. You sit right. down on your table, your assigned seat, and you got yeah. I see what you mean. Like I'm saying, like you know what I'm saying. So you put a little put a, put little, a little room, room in that motherfucker. Have like. Okay. You know, like little sectors, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Little cubbies or little sectors. We're going to talk to somebody Make about this. Make it soundproof. We gonna, DJ, we're going to talk to somebody about this. I like to say We, we can get that done for sure. We sexual creatures, idea. man. This is ridiculous. This sexual creatures. Control your urges. Wait till you get home. Well, most of these motherfuckers can't. Clearly. Yeah. U.S. motherfuckers Okay, I think officials. most of them can. But, but like I said, why not? Just like, as like a little incentive. You work towards it. You put in a certain amount of hours. You get maybe like, I don't know, every 20 hours you get a... Uh, 15 minutes of relations on the job. Most people don't even last that long. Especially them old niggas. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's why you, you know, put a Viagra in the booth, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Because now he walking around, he's strong, strong. <laughs> the rest of the day. Well, then you know who had a good time on break, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Them niggas wear slacks, too. That's boring. Them boys slacks. Them niggas wear slacks, that's too. Boring. Hell but, no! But that's a that's a big ass mean room. Meat strong as hell. Y'all think all the other niggas use the same room? You don't even need no mallet. Oh man! Like yeah. be honest, y'all think y'all think like we don't else? see so many different groups of people doing this? Cops, government officials, regular workers, is, um, like warehouse warehouse workers. workers yeah. for I mean, I'm I'm. A, <laughs> I'm part okay, of the Okay, come on, I'm man. Come on, man. Don't, don't ask yourself like that. Right, so you're a perpetrator, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, I've done stuff in my job. I did yeah. stuff in my job. This man trying to get fired. No, I, he didn't. I, I he lied. I have I also hope. as well. So I, I did stuff in my Walmart oh, job. Lord, like, mercy. come on, dog. Like, yeah, I heard about my job. It was getting on in, in one of the trailers. Mm hmm. Pitch black in that mall. Mm hmm. You like it when the lights ain't on. No, that. Wow. That was happening at KFC, though. See? Sexual creatures. Humans are sexual creatures. One of my homies, he was fucking one of them girls in that bathroom. Yeah, he was in there mashed potatoes when he's supposed to be giving the side of the mashed potatoes. What is he talking about? That's a good one. That's a good one. Got chicken grease places. They should never, it should never even be. But I ain't mad at it. I'm just saying, you know, the likelihood of it is very high. When people tell me they when people tell me that they do stuff for their job, I don't get surprised. At all. Shit, two motherfuckers horny. Shit, you find a way. Yeah. This is true. You will find a way. Ra, speaking of love making and love. Oh man. Uh I actually would just was doing my, you know, my little daily scrolling. My little daily scrolling. Came across this video with some girl. She had said that she got so used to love bombing. And if you're unfamiliar with the phrase, love bombing is the act of um 
is the act of uh, saying I love you too early, basically. Mm. And doing those types of and acts. Yeah, part, participating in those activities of early love. And she was saying that she got so used to love bombing that when the man she met didn't love bomb her, she thought he wasn't interested. That's mm. ridiculous. Fucking insane, right? Have y'all had any experiences with love bombing? Because I have. What, a girl giving me a whole bunch of love? I mean, no. The closest I got yeah. to that is a girl getting feelings, catching feelings too early, and then the brother got to book it. But that's close. I had a girl got. tell me she loved me like a week after I met her. Good God. Well, um, yeah. I've had a woman tell me that she loved me after I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, I laid down with, the law. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hung out with a shorty, ghosted for about four months, hung out with again, and then she asked me, so what do you like about me? And like, as if I was going to date her or something. I was like, uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be the last time I speak to you. <laughs> damn. Yeah, ah, damn. Uh, you know, it, it, you know, it makes sense. The being upset about it, it makes sense. Because you got to think about it. Like, if you invest all this emotion mm. into this person, I ain't saying it's smart. Mm. I'm just saying the fact is you're investing all this emotion in the person. Mm -hmm. And they don't reciprocate. We're not saying they should. Just saying that they don't. Mm -hmm. I can see why somebody be frustrated. Now, are you stupid? Yes. But I can still understand why you'd be upset. I guess you're trying to understand the other side. I don't. Shit's stupid. <laughs> Shit's stupid. I agree. I didn't say it wasn't stupid. I'm just saying. I mean, because, like, let's say if you, you know, your dog, if you love your dog, like, 100% all the time, but mm. your dog couldn't stand your ass, that wouldn't bother you a little bit? It Take bothers me. It's my dog now. Yeah. Though. I mean, I actually, I don't really give a damn like that, but, you know. Yeah, because I be know. I be fake blue, because my cat normally be waiting for me to come back in from work, and at the times he don't, I be like... All right, go ahead, nigga. No, no, no. Real, real though. Oh, dude. I saw something the opposite. It was a girl that, it wasn't even that the dude was love bombing her, but it was this woman. She was on some podcast and she was just talking about how she found out that the things that women ask for, they don't really want, like getting them flowers, uh, holding the door open for them to the car before they get inside and stuff like that. Whatever it might be. All like the silvery stuff that they talk about. Mm -hmm. Saying how mm -hmm. she was going on a date with this dude mm -hmm. and she opened the door. Brother had some flowers. That's crazy. Uh, and chivalry she, the first dead. thing she thought and they say, and this they nigga say, weird. And they say, and they say. <laughs> That's the first thing she thought. She said, this nigga's weird. And then she didn't even acknowledge the flowers. Just kind of moved past him and went to the car because she was just, she didn't know even know how to react to that because I guess every other brother was just dogging her out. Some... And then uh, he opened the door for it. He thought it was weird, too, this and that. And basically, long story short, she just said, I realized that we don't even want any of the stuff that we asked for, we talk about. We don't want any of that, blah, blah, blah. I thought it was weird. That's so weird. She's just out of touch, yeah, bro. She's real. just out of touch with life in the world. If she thought a nigga that's bringing her flowers was weird. Yeah, that's weird. not fair to him, especially. Well, if you're used to the streets, it's going to be hard to be in the house. You know? Agreed, okay. but... The bars. Bars. I don't know. Bars. Nah. But, that was bars. No, nah, no, nah, that's bars. facts. Yeah, but I feel like that's unfair to try to hold him to that. Well, yeah, another so that thing is, like I not capable of getting that. And I didn't finish the whole thing. She said, after all that happened, she kind of rejected him and then went off, did her own thing, got dogged out a few more times, and then realized she said, "Wait, I think I actually do want that now." And now she's upset because other dudes won't give it to her. And then yeah, you know, no, 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 no. no. You prefer the streets, right? So you, you <laughs> stay. Mother. You straight walking on them streets. streets right. <laughs> you goddamn made the bed, bitch. Now sleep in it. Come on. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's all it is, man. Get you a 10 speed and ride on the street. So she baby. can't she can't have a little character development, realize, hey, I messed up in life. I need to go, you know what I'm saying? How old was this woman? Uh, she was like 30 something. Oh yeah, you're too grown to be doing <laughs> dumb shit like that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, your character that was, development arcade 12 years ago, bro. That yeah, was a great good. question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bitch. With that mentality, you might not be married. I, I saw Tia Mowry. I don't know if y'all know who she is. She one of the sisters that played in that old Disney movie Twitches. Oh, oh I know you're talking about. Yeah, uh, I guess she divorced like her husband, left her husband and, and, and the kids or whatever. Well, I think she still probably talks to the kids, or whatever or the, whatever. The kids. I don't know. I don't know the whole thing. It's just real quick. Yeah, he just she just posted on Twitter. And she said, "What one man won't do, another man will." I'm saying that shit. And it was yeah. just ironic because it blew up. It was just ironic. Cause I looked at her head and. You just see them gray hairs all around her edges. I'm like, let it, the clock is ticking. <laughs> real, factual. <laughs> and it's a lot easier for her. Nah, no, for real. Too old She's be established talking about another man. shit. Like, I don't know. But maybe it will. But man, I'm just like, you know, nah. you could go back to your kids. 
And what I'm, I'm saying, I, I don't know enough about the situation. I don't want to be you know, act like I know more than I actually do. Be too pretentious or whatever it may be. Um, but that, that that just seemed pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that phrase that phrase enrages me though. A lot of a lot of these relationships, you hear that often. What you won't do another man will. What? Bitch, I'm leaving. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but it's, true, it's a true statement though. <laughs> I think it's fair on both sides. It is. It's a true statement, though. Another and, man will do it. And, and will see, she find that man? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. No, you find see, that I feel man? like I feel like it comes down to the extremes, though, because we talk about we talk about the most basic of uh, basic of things and basic scenarios. If I'm hearing that, all it takes for me is one time. But I can imagine a nigga that's enduring it and hearing it three, four times. Get the fuck out of there, bro. <laughs> Get, Get the, the fuck, fuck out of there, bro. Okay. <laughs> like, she clearly telling you she waiting for the nigga right. that will. Fuck is right, literally. Me? You basically telling me, all right, you're going to find another nigga that's better than me. All right, go ahead. Go fuck that nigga then. Mm. That's bars. I understand. That's okay. bars. Okay, then. I never thought about it like that. That's bars. <laughs> I hit the butt. And I then the exile butt. the whore. Wow. I mean, I mean uh, woman. Goodness gracious. <laughs> We're getting a real rap here today. Quote, unquote. Quote, unquote. Don't, do, don't do us like that. <clears throat> Anyways, you know, I'm just, you know, anyway. Y'all, speaking of what he's talking about, man, I was just having a conversation. I think it was with y'all, like, <clears throat> last week or something like that. Then I got a meeting or whatever we okay. do afterwards. Man, just through the times we're getting old, I'm just realizing a lot of these things people talk about, I don't even know. This would be some bullshit, man. I was talking about how the man, the man need to get off the woman. Y'all don't know what a clitoris is. Y'all can't stimulate <laughs> us, this and that. Man, all y'all need is friction, which is theoretically true, theoretically. okay? And there are situations where I know it's y'all talking about the dude, he's selfish, he just getting it in, he don't give a damn with you, about you, blah, blah, blah. He mm. just get his in and he goes. Mm. That ain't right. But I just want to go and say it's something just for the marginalized group of people. Man, making the brother finish, making the man finish in bed ain't as simple as it's made out to be. 100%. It ain't. No, <clears throat> no, no, I, I agree. Be Just for the simple fact, sometimes you might have a little group going and she do some dumb shit and throw it off. <laughs> Facts. That's facts. That's you know, facts, that, too. And it might not be intentionally. It she might not, just you know, be feeling no, no. a little too much. You feel me? Yeah, she But, just, but you know, know it'd be stuff like that. Sometimes it make it look difficult. Like, man. How you fucking up the groove? That's facts as hell, dog. Like, I don't been with so many women yeah. that I did not finish with. Facts, I agree. <clears throat> there <clears throat> have been numerous occasions where I did <clears throat> not finish. I, I did not finish. It don't frustrate me. It don't none. frustrate me either. No, it irritates me. I can understand. I can understand, <laughs> and I can understand. And I can understand. Yeah, that. I can understand. But for me, too. I don't know. I think I'm more just a pleaser. I'm like my thing is just like, leave, I want you to leave a good review, nonetheless. Facts. Type shit. You got you got then we got what you did. I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah. That's personally my thought process. Now leave me a review. Go on Yelp. Leave a review. Let me know. Four point five stars yeah. at least. Fuck I gotta go Yelp. five stars. I would say hit but, the group yeah. chat. Yeah, oh yeah, so, you know what I mean. Hit the group chat. That's what I mean. Just, you know this what nigga put it down. Now mm-hmm. I'm getting DMs from your friend. The group chat oh, is the Yelp. The group chat is the Yelp for that type of situation. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Bar. See, I feel like I was group thinking chat. like that when I had that performance anxiety, but now I know I be laying that log down. So <laughs> right? uh, if you getting yours, I'm getting mine. Okay. Okay. Boy, you're done. But eventually, like, you've just been in a situation. I'm sure this is how like we can all relate to this. You just going, you going for some time, whatever the case may be, and then you just like, oh, nigga. Nigga, fuck this. I'm going to bed or <laughs> some shit like that. I'm going home. <laughs> Got bad things to do. Nigga, I could go watch me a movie. Me, I'm hungry. I want to go eat. Lie down. I definitely been in that situation. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, nigga. I got work yeah. laid on. That's bars. Yeah, it, and it really, it really does just depend on. It depends on my relationship with the girl. Too. Yes. Like if I'm really like, fuck, would you like that? But you kind of cute, and I want some ass, quote unquote. Man, I might not finish just because I don't really fuck with you like that. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, yeah, that's a good point. Very yeah, but like niche. <clears throat> be be in the deed and like you think about some dumb shit she said before y'all started, bro. No, nah. <laughs> like, <laughs> my like, mind don't travel that far. Like man. nah, bro. Like like some. Now like, I think about some crazy shit though. During I ain't gonna lie. Like, I would uh, think about some I mean, dumb shit, motherfucker. Said, yeah, like, to keep little bro alive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like what? You got an example? <sighs> what? Dick? Man, in my young days, man. <laughs> I was a I was a wild whipper snapper. I used to just, <laughs> oh, Lord, but, you know, Papa was a Rolling Stone. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, I met this chick at a party. You know, we started hitting off a couple weeks. You know, we go hang out, do our thing, whatever. But one day, you know, we decided to she let me come over. You know, now one of these hangouts, we had went out to to some skate park and did something. We smoked there and did something with one of her homegirls or something. Okay, mm-hmm. and like her and her homegirl was having a conversation. You feel me? 
and they were talking about roads and streets, and she said oh, on secondy second. Secondy second. On secondy. <laughs> on secondy second. That sounds you was saying. <laughs> Hell no. So this nigga hitting it from the back. Talking about this stupid ass bitch. <laughs> this dumb ass. Pretty much. And I thought about it. That's dumb as shit. Like, secondly, second, bruh. You right, dude. Keep you alive, you know. Mm-hmm. But it was like, damn, that was dumb as fuck. <laughs> but hell no. Kind of ruined the moment a little bit. <laughs> yeah. start questioning intelligence. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I feel like people don't realize my mind be wandering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I mean, I you know. gotta. You got to. Uh, you too focused on. You thinking about, you know, what I'm eating for dinner. I'm a dog doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I guess the counter argument would be that you're not present. Well, maybe shit, that's why. I did these motherfucking back shots as president, goddammit. Yeah, yeah, but you not president. In, maybe that's why you're not finishing. Going in, you're not locking weak strokes back in. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, Go ahead. <laughs> you, you start off with weak strokes. <laughs> you you want to see what the threshold is first. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I, that's the same thing as like easing it in. Yeah, right. You start oh. off. You start you off. Going, you're you're talking about shallow, you're shallow, 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 shallow deep. You're going as a mouth. Mm-hmm. Crazy. I just saw that video earlier, bro. That shallow, shallow, deep shit. Shallow, shallow, deep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't just go in and just attack. mile a minute just fucking a bit. No, you can't just do that. You no, can't, you can't rub it. You can't yeah. be a rabbit. You know? yeah. Yeah, see, that's, crazy that's, see that's, that's the part, though, because as of recent, I've been able to finish. But I've been practicing the shallow, shallow deep. I promote giving and I try not to, all the time. I try not to Ooh, let my mind worse. wander too far, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love man, this it's supposed to be the Christmas episode, man. Damn. <laughs> I love this nigga, bro. This nigga <laughs> lady. Yeah, we giving the gift of knowledge. Still the text. 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 That's a good one. I have to start right now. I'm like, damn. I look at that ride of Christmas hat on and I feel my shit. I'm like, damn. Hold on. Good God. La 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 hey. la la these nuts. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> hey, it's the Christmas. Oh, I can do the second one. It's the Christmas it spirit, man. Though. It's the Christmas you know spirit, man. You know Damn. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, shit. Uh, let's just move on a little bit, though, man. Um, we talking a lot about relationships today. Yeah. Let's, let's keep it going, Mr. Daenerys Johnson. Okay. So recently, I've just seen a new prompt that uh, men are out here complaining that on the first date, women are finishing their food. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to ask y'all, because me personally, that is some of the dumbest shit I ever heard in my entire life. Man, look. Um, man, you complain about paying food. for them, Ville, right? Right. We as men, we, uh, uh, <laughs> a large group of us complain about paying for the bill. <laughs> yeah. Then you want them to not no, <laughs> he like what? Wait, is that First a serious all, that's a serious argument? Yes. yes. Niggas are crazy. I like a bitch that can eat. Shit. Yeah, for so. Sure. You better eat every goddamn thing. I'm on not that even talking yeah. about big women. Even though those are accepted as well. We, you know, we, 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 we mess that too as well. Except for but, that guy. But but no, I just probably like eat a meal. Like you see the, don't be afraid to just grab that sandwich and bite that motherfucker. Like, come on, eat, right? I like, see you eat. Like I like a woman that show that she eat. eat. Man, I'm not like, like, talking about stop doing that little pretty. Yeah, no, no, over that, over that nibbling. nibbling. Over that nibbling. No fish That's nibbling. just a bad precedent for what might come to be later on. We don't Factual. want no nibbling. Factual. Facts. Bite that motherfucker. Eat it. <laughs> motherfucker look Eat like, it. Okay. <laughs> motherfucker look like hamsters and shit. <laughs> these motherfuckers want to take a little ass. <laughs> no, for real though. No, for real though. I like when a girl can just go yeah. eat. You eat, go to Taco. Eat. Bite that motherfucker. See, yeah. burger, eat that motherfucker. I took a girl out uh, for her birthday the other day to Olive Garden. And you know we've been we got establishment. We, yeah, it, it is. is. But it was it was all it was all right. But you know, uh, we've been eating together for a minute. You know what hey. I'm saying? And she always eat. And I I tell her all the time, like man, I love that you just like eat. Bro. Yes. And she's like, what you mean? But I'm like, well, cause you be bullshitting. Like, yes. Want to eat real slow and yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Like, get straight, get straight down. Like just to eat, eat, motherfucker. Yeah, damn, yeah, you yeah, a human. Real. Like, trying to like get cute. Bye. humans it's, gotta it's, eat. It's, goddamn it. That like, get in there, get straight to eating. For sure. I feel oh, like that was gay. directed. I feel like that was directed <laughs> somewhere else. But uh, it was innuendos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I guess. But uh, all right. Yeah, like I said, yeah, though, you man. know, get down, yeah. get down to the point. Goddamn it! I be right. trying to think about everything from both sides, right? right? Because if I'm thinking back, if I'm thinking back, you know, anytime I've been with a girl, if they don't finish their food and I'm paying, I'm eating it. They're not taking that shit home. Shit maybe that's that. what maybe that's what niggas is complaining about because they be getting their seconds. Motherfucker, what? 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 You taking her second? Yeah, if she don't finish her, eating, her I'm shit? eating it. But what if you don't what like what she's that? eating? Ah, uh, that's a rare occurrence, man. Huh? That's a rare occurrence. <laughs> that's a rare so, occurrence. So, so they order scallops, nigga. You don't like scallops? <laughs> nah, they pretty mid. 
I never had them. Scouts not bad. Yeah, they made it, though. They not amazing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> they made it, though. They're a good 7.5 out of 10. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm guessing that you guys do not agree with this. Uh, hell fucking no. Nah, we love nah, this. Nah, that story. Not really. Eight. I'm very happy to hear that. Because Eight. 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 if they're they eating for real, they might be able to throw down in that kitchen because that means they love food. food right? No, no. The fuck does not. No hell. I said might. Not. There's a he there's a higher might. likelihood. Yeah, he said between might. a between a bitch it, between a bitch that all? don't eat and a bitch that do. eat. He's got a point there. I think we are just describing the fact not that all a eaters like to eating. cook though. <laughs> huh? well, not all he, eaters cook though. He, but he's I'm saying acknowledging there's a that. higher there's a higher likelihood though. Yeah, he's acknowledging that. Maybe plus five percent. Nah, it's higher, man. No, he's Either way, the plus is still you there. I mean? Come on. So, like, his his point is still valid. They be eating, and these motherfuckers don't be cooking nothing, nigga. They just be eating the selfish as oh, hell. It's very <laughs> true. There, there is I some of them out there. Nobody's saying you, think, you, you wrong. Think, you think it's messed up if you big as hell, you can't cook? Yes, I yes. do. Yeah, I think that's fucked up. You doing all that foolery. eating, you better learn something. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, no, foolery. no, like I, I feel selfish. like that's, that's bogus. Fair. Like that's you selfish. done all that eating, you you might as well learn. Yeah, you know, you I, might as well I, I just say if you fat, I think you should be an expert in food. You should be able to put something in your mouth and break it down, seasoning by seasoning, ingredient by ingredient. <laughs> Twenty. <20th. Okay. laughs> Oh my God! Right. I, I, I was trying to hold it, bro. <laughs> right down to an elemental oh level. Yes, God. yes. That's bars. I agree. Stop. Ah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Too. I knew that was coming. I knew he was gonna say that bars. I knew he was trying to press the button. Man, oh my God. You, better, like you, better, you, better, you better tell me if that's sodium or, or Himalayan <laughs> salt for real, nigga. You better like kosher Himalayan, nigga. You better tell me, nigga. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my but, uh, god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that is, back to back, just getting that. But I've been cooking. Speaking of that, man, let's get some little more pasta. I've been cooking more recently, man. I've been cooking. I might have to chicken bring y'all all meals. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken based meals. Chicken uh, <laughs> 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 based meals. You was trying to. You was trying to think. I was gonna say. He was trying to think of something like, wait, what did I cook recently that wasn't chicken? Like, oh fuck. <laughs> no, I didn't stop. I didn't stop. Man. It wasn't no chicken bait. <laughs> Chicken was in the minority when Yo, I cooked. Man. Actually, nah, hell no. I made some jambalaya. I made some jambalaya. Oh, okay. The way your brain okay. just farted, bro. <laughs> your ass was in a shock. Your ass shit. was like, <laughs> so this what you do? Got like chicken, chicken. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, it don't matter yeah. if no, it is chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, shit. jambalaya. I had some Look, shrimp, dog. some sausage in there, mm. and some chicken in that mug. My father told me at a very young age, man. There's a few keys to a woman's heart. Mm hmm Okay. Now, we we as men, we hold one of them, right? Mm -hmm. The master key. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. that, right. Power style. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You already know what? Okay. Put the motherfucker down like Gandalf. Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that second one is that motherfucking stomach. Yes. So if you knew how to cook. Oh, yes. You keep any motherfucker. That's partially <laughs> the reason I'm learning how to. Oh, if you I can cook reach the stomach, you already know what you're doing. Hey, yo. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Bars. But, Cause my dad's been cooking for my mom for years. Yes. Yeah, yeah. my dad, my yeah, my dad know to keep me throwing down, man. My dad loves to cook it's for my mom. Too, year, bro. My dad a fucking grill. fake chef for all times. For real. Right, like, for real. It ain't that hard. Saying, you gotta learn, yeah. man. It ain't even that hey. hard now. I think this is our generation in general. Like at this rate, bro. Some of our generation should be cooking a little bit of some on that on that uh Christmas, Thanksgiving, some. Mm-hmm. I know how to cook. I'm just lazy. I ain't doing all that. I well, think I cook, not, not nothing big, like something a little different. Like I cook the mac and cheese. The Monty's get it now. Mm -hmm. I cook the mac and cheese. Um, um, bro. Yeah, they got the mail booths. Yeah, I start, oh, I made the spire ass cornbread too, bro. <laughs> I, I think made... the best I think the best way to learn how to cook is living by yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you ain't, yeah, got nobody else to, you ain't got nobody else to help you out. Be a fucking YouTube chef, bro. That, bro I'm, I'm just like, nigga, go on Instagram. You know what my Instagram folk. is? Food. A hella food yeah, tutorials. Yeah. Literally, bro. Not even yeah. just the food, but like the they teach you how to cook, yeah, man. That's what I be it, doing, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah on TikTok, hard. I get it's that on TikTok. Yeah. I spent four hard. hours when I couldn't go to sleep one time on TikTok watching how to cook shit. Come on, bro. Shit, bro. And it's it's literally that simple. I would understand like years ago not being able to cook, but now literally go on fucking Google and look at recipes. Yeah, you a lazy bastard. Like, all you, you want to do is eat. Cook. All you, you do is eat, eat, scarf shit down, and not contribute nothing. Not make no dishes. You eating everything, not contributing nothing. I mean, you a selfish bastard. I'm not contributing shit. I can cook the shit out of a chicken parmesan. I tell you that. Well, exactly. Let's start somewhere, man. Rob, you need to start, man. Yeah, I'll start. Start cooking up And it's like. I, I just gotta started. realize I just the oh, yeah. difference between scratch and box shit, bro. Like, mm -hmm. when you cook something from scratch, dog, 
Oh man, it tastes a lot better. That shit be so gas, bro. It don't, bro. Cause you Cause can taste all the individual layers. The layers, right? Right? you know yeah. exactly what you done put in that, yeah, bro. Right? Right? I taste the smoked paprika on this motherfucker. Oh god, god. Oh, cause right? I'm, hey, I'm getting real sick and tired of these motherfuckers claiming that they chili the bomb and they got that shit out the can and just add a little yeah, season. Hell, that's nah. not your shit. It's not you, I gotta no see chili. you washing board beans. I gotta Man. see you feel me. I gotta see all. Of I gotta <laughs> see the stock being made right there in my face and all. Facts. You know, I don't think I sent you this, but I think they said it, bro. bro. Like two weeks ago, bro, I made this this cornbread, right? On the regular mm. cornbread, nigga. I made this jalapeno bacon cheddar cornbread oh. with the honey butter on top, nigga. It was that marvelous. Is. That sounds like it was oh, a lot yeah. of yeah. I, I seen that. I seen that. I fucked with it. No, man, it was fire as hell. I'm gonna do something with bro, the fish. When we get the crib, bro, it's gonna be some mukbang. We throw it now. We throw it now. Food shit. competition. Oh, I was about. I was just about to say, bro, you can do something like that. Who can't? Who might make that? Best mac and cheese. Might make my dad's signature. My signature. My dad's signature pasta, man. You barbarians don't like vegetables very much. I go get the notes. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I love vegetables. I love vegetables. Hey, you make that shit. I'm snapping on it. If it ain't no, broccoli, I, I, I like some. Bro oh, broccoli nasty. Uh, yeah. Brussels sprouts Peters. crazy. Broccoli. Is I like Brussels bad. sprouts more than broccoli, actually. Really? I do. That's the other way around for me. I ain't lie. Well, you like Brussels sprouts better than broccoli? Yeah. I know. I said I do. I said I like Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want them little ass trees, man. I don't, oh I'm, my god. Oh, here it is. Green, green balls, balls though. You eat them green balls though. Grinch balls. Right. We talking about Touché. Yeah. Touché. Yeah, right. <laughs> man, we'll talk about we got something to talk about a little bit more serious. Just real quick. We don't have to spend too much time on this one right here, man. Mr. Jonathan Majors, man. He's been killing it as of recently. Oh man. The it's past few times he had, of course, he's supposed to be in the next Avengers movie, the Kang Dynasty. He was in Ant Man versus the in the Wasp, Quantumania, whatever it may be. He was in Creed, other movies too. On the cover of some magazine, I want to say it was Vogue. <laughs> Something like that, man. Women was loving him, all of that. And uh, nowadays, they you know they getting his ass about it. There, <laughs> we did not talk about this this case at all up to this point. I'm kind of glad we did did not because it's been all over the place. At one moment, it's looking like, oh damn, this nigga might do some shit. And this moment's like, damn, this nigga ain't do nothing. <laughs> and then like, <sighs> it's just a tough situation. Y'all don't know Jonathan Majors was accused by his ex girlfriend of assault. At least it was. That's how it seemed. I don't know if exactly she accused them or basically the police. They they got into the situation, so it went ended up going to court. <laughs> there were some things about the girlfriend. She didn't. She was talking about how she didn't want to go to court and this and that, blah blah. How she was mad that they were trying to take her to court, whatever it may be. But yeah, but the whole situation was really messed up, and uh, they charged them on four counts, Dang. guilty on two of them things, Dang. and uh, guilty on two accounts of I think it was like second degree. Along the lines like second degree assault or something like that, but he was not guilty on first degree, whatever it may be. Uh, they said that she had a broken finger, I think it was a pinky, and she had some cuts and some bruises. Yeah, that's it from that bitch falling, running them damn heels. I'm sorry, he going. Oh, I mean, you may not be wrong, brother. You may not be wrong. If you don't know, poor brother was running for his life. His life. Apparently, he had. She was really intoxicated, and he tried to put her in like a car or whatever. And I don't know. She said. Through that, she broke a finger and some craziness like that. And next thing you know, video leaks the next week of this man, Jonathan Major, is running like four or five blocks from this lady. Oh like, God. good God. She just keeps chasing. And I'm First talking was Gap. Oh, that bitch is nowhere was near. This man was running for his gap. life. Oh, for, for real, though. Oh no, that shit was crazy as hell. And then, so now it's looking like, okay, he may have not done anything. And then he ends up, you know, just being found guilty. It's pretty crazy. It's fucked and up. And then, uh, Disney, Marvel, they fired his ass immediately. Mm. Like, they could not wait to fire this nigga. <laughs> like They've been like waiting since the motherfucking <clears throat> accusation. No, Disney don't play with that, man. So what y'all yeah. think? What y'all think about it, man? It's unfortunate. What y'all... Hey, I don't know man. if there's too much to say about it. I, I, mm. don't, I, I don't know everything about the situation, really? man. But, hey, man. What she do? You know? What does she do to this man? Yeah, I mean, to be running for four blocks is... Yeah, it's crazy. That's Who's crazy. running for the motherfucker they punched? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that. It's, it's just, tough because we don't know the whole but situation. But that just swole as hell. But then, if he decks her, there's no way she. Yeah, she'd be down for the count. There'll be, right. There'll be no right. Do know that. That's a very fair they point. You actually have to study boxing. Like, that nigga probably knows how to throw a punch. Somewhat, right. It says so. she broke her finger and then they see her went to some club because she said after the situation, she wanted to, I don't know, blow off some steam. So she went to the club and she was seen holding her phone. Leaning on rails and stuff with that very hand or finger that she broke, 
Yeah, the whole situation just messed up. I don't know. That situation sounds crazy. I guess the moral of the story is, man, to be careful who you date. Be careful who you date. You see some signs that, that she wants to get physical with you, or you see some signs that you guys are getting physical with each other. Just just leave the situation, man. You need to get about it as fast as hell. As fast as you possibly can. Especially if you're famous. Factual. Because this man has been selling millions of dollars. Man, and I'm, I'm tired of whole <laughs> black women in the comments saying, you know, uh, black women, this ain't our fight. This is what happens when we fuck with white women. See, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, y'all niggas still do it too. Yeah, yeah. Same, the same problem can happen with a Yeah, same man. motherfucker. <clears throat> it would maybe have a lesser social status, you know? Yeah, like, it's just a people, it's a people problem. Mm. I would say it is. I don't want to Man, stop, stop one. blaming it on, on that shit, man. That y'all, shit does get annoying. Man. That shit does get annoying. Very much so. Very much Man, so. what's going on with, with Diddy Smile? Uh, my favorite person, Captain. Huh? Uh, this nigga Diddy, apparently, <clears throat> people are doing a lot of digging. And, stop it. And there's a lot of talks of, or a lot of debate and talks of uh, 50 trying to get in contact with these male victims. Woo! Oh, you do like boys. So, oh my God. <laughs> so now that that's in the air, they've dug up a lot more male victims, and uh, the one of the one of the victims, well, two people, uh, two victims that really shocked me were yeah, that's crazy. I know were uh, <clears throat> crisscross. If you know the song, jump, jump, yeah, crisscross really? will make you. Yep, him and Jermaine Dupri. Oh my! Oh God. man! We're both involved in, or well, allegedly involved in grooming and yeah, abusing these. Yeah, I believe these all that shit. <laughs> I believe all that. Yeah. Guilty until proven innocent. Goddamn! I'm joining <laughs> the mob. Fuck this nigga. I'm with that. I'm with that. <laughs> I'm with that. <laughs> I'm now, sorry. There's some cases, bro. Like that's just too many. Like it's too many. Not We've gotten to a, a, a ridiculous number. We now, got to a ridiculous number. Now there's names like Bow Wow. Like there's no Justin way Bieber, all of these motherfuckers are making it up. Usher. We need we need to get back to this question just real fast, man. Cause I think y'all might change our answer now, man. Would you rather go homeless or sign a record deal with P. Diddy? I need to hear your updated answer. Homeless. I'm still sign that record deal. Yeah, I think I'm still signing that. Oh, y'all, deal, y'all, just, y'all He yeah. touches as much as evidential now. And we can clearly see it. Yeah, but I mean, he can get not. Roundhouse kicked though. <laughs> oh my gosh! But he yeah, had the whole you mob. think you gonna still have that damn deal? He had the whole mob. Don't First of all, if I can get through it, I'll get my nigga, butt touched and I get the deal. <laughs> right. I'll be trying to touch my butt, you get roundhouse kicked. Well, right. No, I'm saying you gotta take the deal. I see you have to take the deal, whatever oh, okay. that comes with. No, yeah. no, no. Yes. What? Yes. Man, getting out. What? I gotta sign a. I gotta sign a contract to get my butt fucked. It might be. A, it, might, it might be in the records. Yes, right, it might yes. be in the text. Nah. It might be in the fine print. You well, don't know. You don't if know. It's in the, if it's in the fine print, well, DJ will not be signed. Right, I will not <laughs> be participating. A, but it's it, not it, in the fine print, man. That's man, ridiculous. Hey, hey. Right? What kind of shit is that in the contract? I gotta get. Bus, I gotta get man. access to your butt for you to sign this deal. Like, what kind of <laughs> shit is that, dog? Like, what the fuck? Well, maybe you saying the night before you sign, be like, well. I'm not gonna let you sign unless you let me get in that butt. Oh no, well, then I'll be like, well, I'll kindly be handing this back. Because I'm, like, I'm not signing <laughs> yeah, it. You walk to the door, you see some big six, seven motherfucker waiting for your ass. You can't get out mm-hmm. no more. Hang your ass over a balcony. How do you think he's already getting these motherfuckers? Yeah. You don't think they thought the same thing? You they say, oh, oh yeah, he touched, he touched other people, but he ain't gonna touch my butt, though. <laughs> <laughs> he took it just like ah. that, motherfucker. That's a good point. That's a valid point. Hey, man. Ain't no point in stepping in that, man. You ain't no reason trying to try to make a deal with the devil right there. Oh, no, hell no, that's the devil right there. I be, That's I the devil's work. The booty devil. Because I have a plan. Oh, I'm man. So I'm I not going it. homeless, ever. I, I ain't. Man, hell. I didn't say you can have, like, your car or nothing. Okay. That's bars. Man, you still have your job, man. You can get back on your feet, man. I, I, I'd rather just go on the journey. I'd rather go on the yeah, path that we taking. You know what? I'm going to be homeless. Because, you know. Now you want to be homeless. I you, mean. See, you weren't winning all your options. You saw that money. Y'all making, y'all making it seem like. He's going to touch your butt. Oh, he is. Like, oh, he's going. He's like, going. No, he's going to You don't to get touch out of that. He's going to make some advancements. <laughs> oh, he's going so to touch your butt. So can I deny the advancements? He's going to ask advances. for Felicio. He's going to want you to sit on his lap. Oh. All these, all these things. So that means you already did it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, you know all this. I'm just no. <laughs> you already know. Oh, you, yeah, you're over. <laughs> okay. The, I want to get to Rob. I want to get to Rob <laughs> thing before we before uh, we. <laughs> Cool, Rob. They know the 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 lose lose factor thing. Oh, oh okay. 
So I just really wanted to uh, talk about this lose lose factor. Like I said, I've been listening to that one up T, and that song was just very yeah, conscious. And it was about like a bunch of different perspectives. And he was talking about how if you go to school and your school is broke, they're gonna tell you you need new shoes. But if you come in with new shoes, they're gonna say you spoil and you're a silver spoon goon and all this other stuff, right? And I just wanted to talk about simply doing you and getting rid of all these other fucking viewpoints that everybody else has going on. Everyone is always going to have scrutiny to say about something, anything that you do. You got to let that shit go entirely, bro. Because no matter what, whether it's good or bad, someone's going to talk shit and don't even think about it. That was it. That was all I wanted to talk about. Bar. You never know. Sometimes your L is a W to somebody else. You feel mm-hmm. me? So don't even let that shit fuck with you, gang. You know, that's that's, that's an interesting topic considering uh, what I was into today. I watched uh, Million Dollars Worth of Game and they had Sexy Red on there. I seen that. Oh, I'll be watching. I'll be tuning in later on. And uh, she <laughs> oh, was talking yeah. about exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. How, mm-hmm. you know, people be talking shit about her and she don't give a fuck. Yes. Uh, they say she's bad for the community. She don't give a damn. She is bad for the community. <laughs> But she know she said that she don't give a damn. I know she don't give a damn. Clearly she's doing. She's getting money out of it. <laughs> she says she's Why are you looking at me when you say that? You well, I mean, you're the biggest sexy red, you know. Hater, well, yes. Brandon, you would be going against your word because you said the world need hoes. No, the ho- I said the world no. needs. Nope. You damn, said nigga, that, the world Shut your black knows. ass up, man. <laughs> let me defend right, right, myself, right, nigga. Right, damn. Him, you got to let him yeah, rebuttal. Yeah, yeah. He didn't you say to put the hoes on a platform. Thank you. I said the world needs hoes. And hoes have their place in this world, but their place is not in the forefront. Yeah, he did. Get back to the goddamn shadows. He did say that. It don't need to be in the forefront. <laughs> it don't need to be on the. They don't need to be in the forefront. Get back to and the now shadows. That we, so and now, right, man, I was gonna save this for next week. You know what? I am gonna save it for next week because I don't want even want this to become. The, I've been talking about this is the fourth week we brought up sexy red, y'all. I just gonna go admit it. She probably say, "Oh, I live in your head rent free." She does. Sexy red lives in my head rent free. I'm not you gonna lie. His, not mine. Because his. I, yeah. as I said, I said my head. Okay. She live in my head rent free. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, anti that is sex free. I'm not gonna lie, cause she poisoning the community and the little girl that's coming up, and she's just fine with it. I'm not gonna bring it up this week. I'm gonna bring it up next week. Y'all stay tuned for that, okay? Y'all stay tuned for that. I'm gonna bring it up next week, cause she was on uh, uh, Breakfast Club too, and I didn't like what she brought up. But um, the point is, uh, I like the original point that Rod made. I feel like sexy red shit. Uh, I don't think it applies. Mm. I don't think it does. It does in its own wicked Yo, way. Else, w to somebody else, shit. Yeah. It does in its own wicked way. Fair mm-hmm. enough. You gotta do you, but I think that not unless you harm somebody else. Mm-hmm. Okay. She don't even realize she harming motherfuckers. Okay, that's sparse. Not everybody should be getting thrashed when they're pregnant. Oh god. By Why random, not? by random people. Oh my god. Why not? By random people. She might be. Wasn't oh, that guy wasn't random. She might be pushing someone. He talked about it on the. Uh... It might be the baby daddy. <laughs> the baby daddy. No, it was the guy that she was. Oh, you'll just hear it. You'll hear what you. I'll saying. go <laughs> listen to it, man. Because at this point, they say. A hater is like more closer to a fan than me and endeavor. You're right. Yeah. Mm, uh, somebody, right. Uh, Nas said that some say hating is confused admiration. It mm. is. That's some of the most bullshit statement I said. No, I it have is. a strong distaste for this woman. I do not admire her in any way, shape, or form. I, I'm just saying, I said some, not all. I know, but people say that that's what they say. Like, yeah, but see, hey, really like your biggest fan. Blah, I don't blah, blah. know no. if what you're doing is hating, though. Cause you know, like Hayden is just like, oh yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't this describe it as Hayden. Yeah, he's condemning. This nigga's condemning. That's a better word. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Yeah. I appreciate that. I agree. That's a that's a good word to use. I, I think I it's very that word dangerous. A ago. I think it's just very. Right. Well, See, you, you shouldn't brother. even said that. Cause yeah, like now you just look dumb. <laughs> um, but it's okay. That's facts. Cause it's poison. Rob, what's a philosophy for us, man? You got time for it? Nah. Save, don't? It, for, save it for next week. Nah, we over. Okay, man. Save it for next week. Man. Hey, y'all. Patreon schools are segment coming up. Hope y'all enjoyed, no, man. Merry no Christmas doubt. is coming up. Hope y'all get your gifts. Go, go ahead and get them gifts. I need to get them gifts, too. Is the goddamn it. If you're, if you're listening right now, I probably Merry still haven't even got them yet. Merry Christmas to you. Y'all, 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 Nigga. y'all ain't gonna sing that, that shit bro? was weak. Come on, bro. Y'all, y'all <laughs> hey. Y'all, y'all niggas could have been the in. Temptations, nigga. We could have just did. Come on, man. Tune in. <laughs> Fuck, no, y'all did that to me, man. Like, I ain't say nothing. I didn't know where he was going. I ain't say <laughs> <laughs> he took too far by saying that shit was.